Canada's passport is back in the news. This time, though, it's got nothing to do with delays. The passport is getting a makeover. The CBC's Karina Roman is following the story from Ottawa, and she tells us what will be different in the next generation of the Canadian passport. Uh, the images are changing. You know, the images on the pages inside uh, that represent Canada. So they're changing. Think more natural landscapes and wildlife, uh, less uh, monuments and historical moments. Uh, this is a product, they tell us, the government says, uh, of 10 years of consultation. Uh, they heard in that consultation that people wanted to see more diversity and inclusion and natural environment represented in the passport. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means there's things that are gone from the passport that we're used to seeing, such as images of Parliament's centre block, the Stanley Cup, the photo of the last spike going into the Canadian Pacific Railway, the photo of Nellie McClung, the Terry Fox photo, the uh, photo of the Vimy Ridge Memorial. All those images are no longer, will no longer be in the new passport. Instead, you're going to see animals, bears, narwhals, owls, nature scenes, uh, children jumping into a lake. Uh, the same coat of arms will be on it that there is now, but there will now be a, a large, as you can see there, maple leaf outline uh, ar around the coat of arms. And of course, what this is all really about is security measures, new security measures, and Canada's immigration minister talked about that earlier today. Have a listen. The improved passport is going to have new updated features, including state-of-the-art security features that include a polycarbonate data page. Uh, this is the same technology that's used to protect our currency and driver's license for those who are wondering what it means. Additionally, passport holders' personal information will now be laser engraved instead of being printed with ink, which is going to make the data page more durable and resistant to tampering and counterfeiting. So also to know that your current passport is still valid, continues to be valid. They will start issuing this new passport uh, later this summer. Also announced today is they are planning for the fall, a rollout uh, of the, now it will be possible starting this fall, of, of renewing your passport online and not having to go to uh, a Service Canada office to do that. And not everyone, though, is happy about the changes. And that proof certainly came dur during a question period in the House of Commons. Yeah, well, the Royal Canadian Legion, uh, leading into uh, the House of Commons today, uh, they put out a statement criticizing the removal of the Vimy Ridge Memorial image uh, from the passport, saying that it signifies the sacrifices made for the very sort of freedom the passport provides. It was a defining moment for Canada. And so it became the first question in question period today. Have a listen. The question was, why is he deleting our veterans from our history? Why is he deleting the 3,598 Canadians who gave their lives so that Canada could have freedom and victory at Vimy? He is erasing them, and with that, he is insulting all of our veterans. The Prime Minister, why, was, why will the Prime Minister not stand up for our history, get connected to reality, and keep the images in our passport that make us so proud to be Canadian? Right now, Mr. Speaker, veterans across the country are being reminded of what the Conservatives did around veterans. They wrap themselves in the flags and the symbols any time they can. But in fact, they nickeled and dimed our veterans. They used them for photo ops. They shut down nine veteran service offices across the country uh, so they could try and save a little money through cuts. The fact is, Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives have always disrespected veterans while they wrap themselves in the imagery. We're going to continue to deliver for the veterans every single day. Now, the government says that the reason the images have to change uh, is because of security and that the longer you keep the same images in a passport, uh, the easier it becomes to counterfeit that pass passport. Uh, that doesn't mean anything, though, to some of the chatter on social media, people upset that t the Terry Fox image is being uh, removed or replaced, I should say, uh, with a squirrel eating a nut, for example. Um, these are much more generic images, and that clearly has hasn't pleased everyone.